the bottom line was she lied repeatedly in her testimony. And it I wound up being in a place where I realized this person is a liar and therefore I cannot credit any, any of her testimony. There's no way you could give her a judgment based on her word or say that he was not wrongly uh, treated by her because her her claims were just not sustainable. You know, Megan, uh, there's there's a sort of bizarre logic that goes on when it comes to power imbalances in case like in, in cases like this. Because the truth is that for the American people, very often the person who is who has less power is very often the sympathetic one. I mean, when you're talking about the Bill Cosby case, for example, you're talking about nearly anonymous people who are accusing the most famous comedian of the last 50 years of of deeply despicable acts, and he ends up going to jail. Harvey Weinstein is being accused by a bunch of actresses who haven't worked in 20 years of things, and people despise Harvey Weinstein. So the, the simple argument that Amber Heard was making, which is Johnny has more power, I, I'm, I'm not sure why that would be dispositive in a case like this one.